Namaste Yogesh. Uh, in this video, uh, we are discussing what kind or what types of yoga suits you. Um, first of all, some of you may disagree with me, but I totally believe that yoga is for everybody. Um, even if you think that uh, you have this sickness and you're all too old for the yoga, uh, but there is some mis uh, uh, misunderstanding about uh, yoga for a lot of people because uh, people from the social media, from, from the media uh, especially, they think that yoga is about uh, doing the process. Uh, but the fact is it's not. Yoga is a, it's a very big piece of uh, uh, practice it includes uh, pranayama, uh, meditation, a lot of things. Uh, which, uh, if you would like to start, if you are keen, you will somehow uh, do something about uh, yoga, and you will definitely get benefits from from practicing it. Uh, there is a saying: uh, as long as you can breathe, you can practice yoga. And I fully agree with that. Uh, and also from Patabi Joyce, he said. Uh, Yoga is for everybody. If uh, whether you are old, you are a, uh, you are sick, but it's not for one type of person, which is a lazy person. <laughs> so, um, well, that one nobody can help, right? If you uh, practice it and you don't have a little faith in it, well, <laughs> well, let's come back to the topic. Uh, I always often ask my students, what kind of a uh, uh, yoga suits me? Can you please uh, advise? Uh, that type of uh, question actually comes in in this modern world because uh, uh, there are too many types of uh, yoga created by a lot of people but well there are more traditional uh, ones um, like actually most of the yoga types uh, it, it actually derives from uh, uh, Hatha yoga in whole so uh, the modern ones you may find, uh, well, area yoga, a power yoga, a, what, are, what else, yin yoga, yin yang yoga, <laughs> many uh, types of yoga, many kinds of yoga. I, the oldest one, maybe you'll find Ayanga yoga, Ashtanga yoga, if you want to, Vinyasa. Uh, but well, in whole, as I mentioned, it's from Hatha Yoga. So, uh, well, then what types of yoga suits me? These questions uh, are mostly asked now. The questions comes in in this modern world because in the past, if you are learning yoga, it's just yoga, right? <laughs> uh, well, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, but I just want to, I just want to also uh, uh, clarify this that. Uh, yoga are all the same, uh, no matter uh, it's from the modern words, uh, modern types or uh, the traditional types. Uh, so my suggestion or my advice for people who just started yoga uh, would be always if um, that if you are healthy and you exercise uh, most of the time and you just want to try out uh, yoga. I would say just go ahead and try out all the, all types of yoga because uh, there's nothing that uh, can hurt you. Like you just go and have fun and experience it by yourself. Then you find out what types of yoga that you really like. Um, this is how I started my, my yoga practice. I just went to try uh, all types of yoga that I I could find, and then I just fell into Ashtanga Yoga, which is uh, my personal uh, yoga practice. Uh, I like it because it's. Uh, gives me a lot of uh, energy and uh, I, makes me sweat a lot. It's just, I love it from uh, the first time I started because it gives me a, a, a sense of uh, sweating all out. It's just like I just went for a, a, a marathon, <laughs> you know, a, a long run. Uh, but I don't think that your preference will, will always be the same. You know, all the while when I uh, continue my practice, I fell into something slower. I, I, I fell into yin yoga, I, some uh, slower ones, uh, restorative. Um, well, just, just have an open mind that um, things will always change, just like the nature of everything in this world, uh, impermanence, if you, you want to mention that. <laughs> uh, well, then for total beginners, if you are someone who uh, doesn't exercise at all, and um, you have injuries, 
practice other uh, things that you have to consider. Uh, if you don't exercise, and then you uh, just want to do it, uh, start something new, then I would uh, suggest you to look for uh, classes for beginners, uh, like total beginners uh, classes, then to learn the basic yoga poses, um, and then to get to know more about the alignment of the poses. That will definitely help and uh, avoid you from unnecessary injuries. Uh, for those who have uh, existing injuries in your body, um, um, my suggestion would be you look for a trusted teacher, um, a, 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 a so-called good teacher who, uh, who is willing to share more with you and then you can really tell him or her about your conditions and then uh, let him or her advise you what kind of yoga can you do uh, or else uh, look for a teacher who is uh, expert in um, uh, yoga therapy so yoga therapy is mainly for people who have a specific uh, uh, injuries and then the teacher is, uh, is professional and experienced in handling students with injuries. That would definitely help, to, uh, help you to prevent uh, uh, more injuries for your uh, body when you practice yoga. That's basically what I would tell my students. Uh, don't get uh, intimidated by uh, the names of the yoga. It's all... Uh, coming from Hatha Yoga as a whole. Uh, so if you are already practicing yoga and then you just want to try out uh, some other types of yoga like flow, vinyasa, ashtanga, ayanga, power, yi, restorative, uh, um, what else? <laughs> just go ahead and try it and have fun uh, and experience things by yourself so that you uh, um, you could ask your, yourself what kind or what types of yoga that you like and what kind of yoga that you need. <laughs> so don't stop trying when you just attend a yoga class, just one yoga class from one teacher and then you just simply give up because you did not enjoy that class. It can be because of the class itself, the type of yoga itself, uh, and it can be because of the teacher as well. So, um, uh, so not just uh, um, every, every student usually will have a preference uh, on the classes so they also have preference on the teachers, uh, what kind of teachers inspire them more. Um, and of course, if uh, you don't like that teacher and then you attended his or her class, you may not enjoy it so much and then you may, uh, you know, you may just give up. A lot of people uh, actually uh, did that. I hope you don't give up on a yoga practice. If you are keen to start, just go ahead and try out a lot of uh, classes and also from uh, a lot of other teachers. Uh, and then get one that you like the most, then just say continue your practice. So yeah, you like this video I, and until the next video we meet again. Namaste.